October 2nd is Sunday. Um, back at the permission. Boss guy and I are gonna see if we can uh, pull any more silver or whatever out of this ground. So, uh, and we just finished running up and down the road and got new permission, so we gotta wait for crops now. So, uh, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. 81. Actually, the first find of the day. And Pascal got himself a, a large set. 18. 81. Yeah, I get the water stuff here. Yeah, there you go. yeah excellent shape. You got all the. Everything is there. Not worn at all. Great. That's a different button, I guess. Uh, I wonder if it came off of a. Somewhat of a coat or something because of the big. Uh, and on the bottom. Don't know. Well, I guess it was all of Pascal's day because uh, I got skunked and he's got a, a nice little belt to go with it. And you still got your hole up there intact as you can see. Yeah. Very nice. That's a nice one. And that's a big buckle. Yeah. Huh. Where in the heck did you go that I didn't go? <laughs> Anywhere and everywhere. And your LC, which is in very nice shape. Well, that's it then for today. I got nothing. Okay, here we are again, the 8th of uh, uh, sub, uh, October. And uh, as you can see out in the, in the distance, the soybean is coming off. we going to a part of this field that we've never been to. Uh, Pascal was here yesterday and it was a killer hunt for him an hour and three quarters and he came out with four coins and the chronal bell and two buckles and a whole whack of stuff so hopefully we can uh, keep on going off of that one Great. and have some uh, good hunting. A good single and hit me about 12.45 and got myself a nice little buckle. Yeah, it's probably one of the nicest ones probably that I haven't found yet. Yeah, it is for sure. I'm glad for this one. So hey. after I called Pascal saying I found a buckle, now he's revealing what he's been finding while I was finding garbage until this first good single. So he's got himself a buckle also. Oh, two buckles. Holy jeez. And top of a crotal bell. What in the heck is this one? Oh, it's a button. Right on. Looks like it would be a button for your collar or something, or almost like a, a, a cufflink. The way it's made. It was a good signal. Wow. And here we go again. The second, uh, my second best uh, signal. Uh, since we started, and right there, it's a small. Small Crotal Bell. This is probably the smallest one I found, but it looks in pretty darn good shape. <laughs> see if, uh... Nice. Okay, here we go. He says he's got a good single. He's got an 81. Hasn't pulled it out yet. So, we'll see what he can pull out of this. Big one. Look at that. Look at that. Like Yahoo! <laughs> In awesome shape. Almost like yours. Almost. <laughs> That's a nice one. Hey! The only way to go. <laughs> right on. I just pulled out a bell. Go. Too bad for that little chip, eh? Yeah, I know. But it doesn't matter. It's a nice bell. It is a nice bell. 
Doing good. Now that walk can only mean one thing. He's got that stupid grin on his face. This was bringing, huh? This was bringing out a 91, 92 heavy metal. Okay. What in the heck? Exactly the other side of you. On That's where side. I am. What in the heck? Huge, eh? That's huge. 91, 92. I thought it was heavy metal, so I was like, ah, I'll dig it. Right on. <laughs> On the other side. Okay, here I don't have a clue what's in it. I see some braids and screen. And it's nothing. Just twisted copper wire. Oh well. The next one. There, my first musket ball in this field. Um glad to see that. I'll keep that for sure. Oh! Oh, this guy's got one too. Just over there. <laughs> oh. I thought you had so, a coin. So we got each a musket ball. Let me see. You're so, big. Jeez. Yours they chewed on. Oh, yeah. Big time. They chewed on it. It's like chewing tobacco. I guess uh, they said if you chew on them, they, they get more velocity. So, right on. Let's get something here. Not what I expected. Got myself a key in this plug. Key. There we go. I just pulled the can out of the hole. It's a Labatt glue can, and two at the same time. He pulls out a flat button. It gets shanking all on it. Yeah. It's in great shape. That's another good find. Don't have a clue what I just pulled out of the ground. It's got a hole in the middle. You know. We'll have to come. Okay. It took me forever because the clump was huge and when I finally broke it out this fell out. So we've got something. It's a button. Shank is still on. Yeah. And there's something on it. Oh, there. Looks like an animal or what? Yeah, it does. A bear. Oh, I don't know if I'm... Here, have a look. Okay, it looks like... You can see that it's a dog. The tail the way it is, so it's a point of probably a hunting dog. And uh, you can see the bushes or something there. That's a very nice find. I'm thrilled. To the next one. Okay, this was a little bit deep. But uh, pulled the, bat, the, the uh, top part of a, either a spoon or a fork. So... Better than nothing. And I'll have to clean it up to see if there's any engraving, and we'll see. Um, right here. It's thin. I don't know. I don't know what could it be, but it's very thin. Looks like there's some decor on it in there. So I'll clean it up when I get home. Okay, well, Paul Scott had another pretty good day. A uh, little bit of iron. There, a pocket knife that uh, wouldn't handle. The other side's rotten off, so the pocket knife. Um, a spoon. Who knows? <laughs> and then a nice bell. I'm not sure. Looks like a to lock uh, something up. He's found another big coin. We don't know yet what it is. The top of a crotal bell. He's got his flat button. Another another button, probably a cuff button or a collar button. Little bullet and a musket ball. And then his buckles again. He's got uh, three of them, four of them. And then this seems like it comes from the top of some, you know, you'd carry, or I don't know. So, uh, and then the junk. Okay, his coin is a coin of Upper Canada. It's a token. And it's an 1832. 
nice shape. Needs a little bit of cleaning, but really nice. Okay, here's the crap for my part. Some uh, beer can, coke can, some iron, aluminum, bunch of nails. Um, and now I got a nice button that I found. Can hardly wait to see it cleaned up. Top of the proto bell, a musket ball, a key, nice little buckle. Uh, I don't know. Um, who knows yet? A little coral bell in good shape and a top of a spoon. Okay, wrap up for today. Probably off of uh not sure. This one here. Not sure either. Got a spoon handle. Nice little crota bell, probably the smallest I've ever had. Musket ball button has a hunting dog a pointer on it nice buckle and a key so that's it for today